Many Americans pay part or all of their prescription drugs out of pocket. But many don't know that how much you pay, that depends on where you buy those drugs. Going from one store to another just blocks apart, it could cost you hundreds of dollars. News for investigative reporter Mike Colombo shows us how and why in part one of a special two-part News for Investigation. Spring is business owner Dan Spangler's busy season. This year, he asked his doctor for something to help manage the load. Just kind of stress from work, um, anxiety, and I wanted to get something to just take the edge off a little bit. His doctor prescribed cutiapine, but Dan's stress levels increased when he went to the pharmacy. They called into Walgreens because it was convenient, and um, I went there and they said $379, I believe it was, and I said for a month. And they said, yeah, and I thought, well, I can't afford that. Dan doesn't have insurance and pays cash for prescriptions. So he asked his doctor to do some price comparisons. And found the medicine shop and said it's $50 there for the same thing. $330 less for the same prescription. It's just shocking that there's that much difference. We contacted Walgreens corporate office regarding this pricing predicament. The company's 358 word response talked a lot about insurance and discount programs, but not one word addressed why Walgreens is charging $330 more than Medicine Shop for the exact same prescription. How long you got? I could, I could talk all day on this. North County pharmacist Chris Garrison shed light on the issue. He's a board member for the Missouri Pharmacy Association and says Dan's drug is a generic. Recently, major drug companies consolidated and the United States has cracked down on foreign manufacturers. With fewer drug makers, he says generic prices are skyrocketing. The things that we take, patients take every day for, for disease states have gone up tenfold, twentyfold, sometimes twenty-fivefold, and basically overnight. But that still doesn't explain the huge variation in prescription prices between stores. In fact, it seems no one can or will give us an answer. One source says prices could hinge on what different insurance plans will pay for the same drug. Either way, you, the consumer, can get buried if you're not aware of this. Right, Dan? Even matter. Yeah, you'd think it'd be the other way around. If you don't have insurance, they try to help you a little bit. We did some digging to find out what other pharmacies charge, and you won't believe what we found. We'll have the results tonight on News 4 at 10. I'm Mike Colombo, News 4. Tonight News 4 investigates examining the dramatic differences in drug prices from one pharmacy to another. Here's Mike Colombo with the results of our pharmacy survey and expert advice that could help you save big bucks. It's just shocking that there's that much difference from a chain you see on every street corner. Dan Spangler's talking about the $379 Walgreens charged him for a prescription that only cost him 50 bucks at the medicine shop pharmacy. Dan doesn't have insurance and pays cash for his meds. I was shocked that I could see if they marked it up a few dollars. You know, that's that's just business. But to from three seventy nine to forty eight dollars is a huge amount per month. After hearing Dan's story, we wanted to know what do other pharmacies charge and how much money could you save by shopping around? We did some digging by calling 11 St. Louis pharmacies, nine chains, and two independents, and asking each the cash price for the same prescription, a 60 tablet, 100 milligram dosage of cutiapine. We found Walgreens and Target charged the most, $387. CVS and Schnucks were close in second, both charging $302. Shop and Save was third most expensive at 248 bucks. How about Walmart and Sam's Club? Walmart wants $139. At Sam's, it'll cost you $112. But then the bottom falls out. Check this out. Deerberg's, $61. Beverly Hills Pharmacy in North County, $49. Medicine Shop, $42. And the lowest price in town? St. Louis Hills Pharmacy at $30. Remember, these prices are for the exact same prescription. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, there's uh, it runs under air pressure. Pharmacist Chris Garrison is passionate about his business. He runs the Beverly Hills Pharmacy in North County and is on the board of Missouri's Pharmacy Association. He says the fact Dan's drug is a generic could be a reason for the wide price range. The number of generic manufacturers recently dropped. Now instead of four manufacturers, we have two. Okay, uh, and what happens is they can't meet the demand, prices spike. It's a nightmare because all of a sudden 
the insurances aren't paying for it. Garrison says if the price is more than you can handle, the first thing you should do is ask for help. My recommendation is know your pharmacist, ask questions. We want to help. Many pharmacies, including Walgreens, offer discount programs. You pay a small annual fee and get large discounts on thousands of drugs. While you can save big bucks by shopping around, both Garrison and Walgreens say it's always best to pick one pharmacy and stick with it so the pharmacist can monitor your medications. I'm Mike Colombo, News 4. Well, News 4 continues to get a lot of response to our recent reports on the high cost of generic drugs. Today we have important news. Anyone who is struggling to pay their bills and pay for medication. You're paying very close attention to your money and you don't want to be paying more than you should. Of course not. News 4 has found a pharmacy that could help her and others like her. Mike Colombo shows us how it works. I take three at night and I take three in the morning. Donna Lamworsick has taken seizure medication for 40 years. When her doctor prescribed the generic version of the drug, Donna received an unwanted surprise. I go back to get it and he said, lady, your copay is $65. And I said, that can't be. It can't be. The copay on the brand was $30. Like many consumers, Donna is shocked to find the exploding cost of generic medications. Does that frustrate you as a customer? Oh, you bet your bippy. <laughs> Donna called us after seeing our reports on the huge disparities in drug prices at local pharmacies. We surveyed 11 pharmacies and found prices ranged from a high of $387 to a low of just $30 for the exact same generic medication. I mean, it's unbelievable. Generics are just as high, if not higher. So this piece of equipment is called the Optifil. Daryl Munden and, uh, also yeah. called us after seeing our drug price reports. He is the chief operating officer of Prescription Outreach, a not-for-profit online pharmacy based in Maryland Heights. Prescription Outreach offers drugs at steep discounts. He says he could definitely help Donna. She could get a 180 day supply for $20. And that's cheaper than the copay probably for both of those situations that you just mentioned. Munden says many of his customers are forced to make tough decisions. Do I buy food? Do I pay rent? Do I pay utilities? Or do I purchase my medication? And that's why we do what we do is to help those patients. Donna understands those tough choices. So you've scrapped cable to pay for your medication? That's right. To buy drugs from prescription outreach, you have to meet income eligibility levels. The cutoff points are relatively high and are clearly laid out on their website. We have a link on our website, KMOV.com. I'm Mike Colombo, News 4.